welcome to Spiritual Breakfast. I'm your host, Jen Weir, and today we're going to be taking just a few bites from scripture, a few little morsels to whet your appetite, hopefully get you diving into the Word of God so that you can live the life that He created you to live. Most of us tend to feed our souls. Um, we actually eat real food, we exercise, we drink a lot of water, maybe a little coffee for breakfast. But so many are so busy that we take little time to study the Word of God and get these spiritual truths in our spirit. So our morsel for the day comes to us from Deuteronomy chapter 8. So we're going to kick it old school and we're going to go to the Old Testament. In Deuteronomy, it's one of the first five books of the scriptures. In the Hebrew, it's called the Torah or the Law. Um, Deuteronomy actually means second law, so just a little bit of Hebrew history for your Hebrew, I guess, lessons. So let's read. It's in chapter 8, and we're going to read verse 18. And it says this, But you shall remember the Lord your God. I mean, right there. You shall remember the Lord your God. For it is he who is giving you power to make wealth that he may confirm his covenant, which he swore to you, excuse me, which he swore to your fathers as it is this day. And the reason why I'm sharing this particular scripture with you is rarely is this one ever preached in any, any church, no matter what kind of a doctrine it believes, whether it's prosperity gospel or as we believe the provision gospel, this particular verse is so rich and so good and so much of our God is packed up in just these two little sentences or one long run-on sentence. The first thing is, is it tells us, it reminds us to remember God. Remember Him. Remember it's He that gives us everything that we need, including, check it out, this power to make wealth. And in case you're wondering, that wealth is actually wealth. It's richness. He's the one that gives us the power to make wealth. But there's a reason so that he can confirm his covenant, his promise. That's what that is. It's a promise that he made to our ancestors. And even if you're not Jewish, what you need to know is that once you believe in Jesus, the Messiah, you are now adopted into that family. So all of their promises that the Jewish people got we now get. It's so awesome. So that he made this promise, or that he can confirm this promise, rather, as he swore to our fathers, our adopted fathers, as it is this day. So he gives you the power to make wealth. That's amazing, right? And so many people in 2021 are so worried about the economy, fretting about the, the housing market, and maybe losing jobs. And yet, here in scripture, it says this, if we remember our God, he gave us the power to make wealth. So if you've lost your job, if money is a little tight, you need to go, whoa, hold on a second. I'm going to remember my God and say, Abba, Father, what gifts and talents have you given me that maybe I'm not tapping into? Or maybe I am tapping into it, but you see this market has changed. So tell me. What do you want me to do? And he gives us that power to go create wealth so that he can confirm his covenant so that we can be people who are set apart. We're meant to look so different from people who don't know God. So if you know the God that I know, understand that it is your birthright to make wealth. And the oil, the essential oil that I use for this, we talked about this in a, in a previous spiritual breakfast, but is abundance. I talk about this oil a lot and I don't know that it's rightly used. The thing is, is this oil has frequency that, or the oils in it rather, have a frequency that we're able to send out. But before we send out, we must receive our abundance from our God. And so again, I love using this right on the crown of my head, okay? And as I, I use it in my prayer time, and I just speak to the Father. In Jesus' name, bring me that wealth, bring me that abundance of peace, prosperity, health, so that you can confirm your covenant and take another drop. 
and I won't do it now on camera, but rub it on your belly or even just lightly over your shirt so that everything that comes out of you is abundance and you can now pour it in to the next person you speak to. You see, we're not meant to just be receivers and takers, 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 takers. We're meant to receive from our God and we're meant to transmit it out through this area onto other people. Imagine a people of God who are able to make wealth so that our God can confirm his covenant, which he swore to our forefathers, as it is this day, and now we're pouring it out. We're keeping it in circulation. I hope this little nugget of spiritual breakfast has whet your appetite to go back in and dive into this word. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time.